what is it that we fear the most when we are going gray? Is it the gray hair itself or what it represents? Hello, beautiful butterflies, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, I'm Nina. I am not an expert. I'm not a guru. I'm just sharing something that has helped me. And I've spoken to many of you, and you've mentioned that the struggle for you when it comes to the gray hair is what it represents. And so that is why I ask, are you willing to welcome fear? The fear of what the gray represents. And what is that? That we are aging. We are getting older. And isn't this true? Whether we dye our hair, cover it, don't let it grow out, does it change the fact that we're aging and we're getting older? No, it doesn't. And now, I am not saying that there aren't ways that we can be practical and fine to enhance our beauty and to, you know, still keep some of that youthful uh, appearance about us. But let's delve into this fear that we have of aging. And this made me start to think, instead of giving so much encouragement to embrace our gray, Maybe I should speak more about embracing change, embracing aging, because that's really what it is. Give yourself some compassion if that is hard to accept. Because who doesn't want to stay youthful? Who doesn't want to still be attractive? Instead of running away from what is reality, how about us facing that reality with love? Is that something that you're willing to try? Fear can teach us a lot. It can, it can help us to see limiting beliefs that we may have that we need to transform and work on. And it can help us to see where adjustments need to be made in the way that we think. And that can be hard. That's pushing us out of our comfort zone. Some lies that we believe in our mind feel more comfortable than what the truth is. I'll be honest to say that. You know, the fact that we are aging, whether we dye our gray hair or not, is not necessarily something that we may want to accept. You know, the fact that we're going to start to get crow's feet, as they call it, you know, um, the skin, the gravity is really going to start to be real as when it comes to our skin. Yes, I am 38. I haven't hit a really full point where I see aging as far as my skin and how I look. But because of the fact that I've had chronic illness since I was 18, I have I know what it's like on the outside for the facade to look, oh, you look young, you're, you're good, you know, life is good for you. But on the inside, feeling way older than what I looked like on the inside. So I know that not everything that comes with aging is something that we're like, yay sign me up for but it doesn't mean that we can't still find a measure of peace with the reality that we are aging and i did you guys know that i am always about self-compassion and giving yourself that gift that you so freely give to others and i did a series on the compassionate way to go gray and what out of all of the videos in that series, the, the one that you guys seem to gravitate towards the most was the one about letting go and surrendering. And fear, when that comes up, what we automatically do when we're afraid of something is we run the other way or we try and go into control mode so that we don't have to face what reality is, right? So the roots come in we want to grab that dye and we want to cover it because we don't want to face the reality that we're aging. And so I invite you to, at least even in your mind, consider the fact that it is possible for you to be at peace with the fact that you're aging because you're not the only one. It's happening to us all. It's not something that we can escape. And so would you agree? Let me know in the comments. 
that mindset and perspective are really key to how we experience things. I recently spoke about the fact that I'm thankful for fear and I'm thankful for change. Because with change, I have found growth and transformation into a better version of myself. And what has change brought up? It's brought up fear. And when I welcome change, I'm welcoming the fears that come up with that change. And it's not a... We think that learning and healing and change is a linear thing. It goes up and down. And so there are moments where we stop and freeze we're like no no I don't want to do this I don't want to do this and then we soften and then we you know it's kind of like an up and down of freezing and softening uh, resistance and surrendering I want you to know that if you're not comfortable with fear or it's not something that you run to I get it but what I have learned is that things that are painful do teach me something and when I allow myself to be open to what it has to teach me, I wind up being better for it than if I would have just covered it up, ran away from it, and didn't do that deep work. And of course, that involves us being vulnerable, having the courage to put down those guards and that resistance and be willing to see what comes through.